Good morning. It's so good to have you. I'm Lynn Smith, and this is On the Story. Democrats, they used President Trump's own words against him in day two of the impeachment trial. So what can we expect today? Let's get right to our top story. Of the opioid epidemic is the children. Let's boil this down. From 2000 to 2015, half a million people died from an overdose. Today alone, just today, 91 people are going to die from opioids, according to the CDC. And in that same time frame, there's been a surge in children falling into foster care. Nationwide, nearly 100,000 children are put in care because of drug use. That was just in 2017. That's more than double what it was in 2000. And West West Virginia alone, 7,000 children are in foster care, and that's a 71% increase over the past decade. Some families are stepping forward to save these children from the drug epidemic in America. Kids who didn't have any choice when it came to their parents' addiction, but they are the ones left with the aftermath, and that's why we should care. One mother is doing something about it, Jennifer Yearout. She has taken in from Lynn Smith. It's so good to have you. We're on the story. All that's coming up, but first, President Trump on trial. It's not just one pill or one choice. It's an addiction. And watch this video. It shows you just how disturbing and devastating those addictions can be. Yeah, the thing Ron says about being there at the bottom is that it's dark, but the only way to go up is up. That's the simple truth. An arrest warrant issued for former NFL superstar Antonio Brown after police say he and his trainer assaulted a moving truck driver and now his ex-girlfriend is pleading for him to get some help. HLN's Mike Galanos is here with you because this guy went from being household name, huge NFL star, to facing these charges. That, How did we that, get here? Yeah, that's what it's, everybody's scratching their head. He stand now. In addition to sexual assault charges? Yeah, that was what the NFL was investigating. Mm -hmm. The grace to go from great NFL player Dancing with the Stars, mass Singer. Do you, is it possible this guy could go investigating an assault after their mascot, Gritty, was accused of punching a 13-year-old boy in the back? Of its grateful owner. Listen to this. It was a 106-year-old. First words, important milestones, of course, for every parent. But what about baby's first ice cream? Jeannie Mose is on the story. Same reaction, Jeannie Mose. Thank you for that. And thank you for watching on the story. I'm Lynn Smith. True Crime Live with Mike Galanos is next. See you.